Hello, and welcome to your new Windy Grove apartment. Start out with a quick video and orientation for us to show you how to work some stuff in the apartment. First of all, we will start with the door. You have these two circles right here in your key fob. And what we try to suggest is that if you take your key fob from the big circle to the little circle, it should blink green. You should be able to unlock. Come back, big circle, little circle, your door will lock. You would come in and you ever go and it don't light won't come on you can hit this little button at the top everything turns blue that kind of reboots the system and then you can use your key should blink green and everything should be fine if you ever come up and you get a red blink that means there's something wrong with the key or the battery is going dead please let the office know and we will come and get it taken care of for you now we're into your laundry room. Doors, these little ball catches at the top, that's what holds the door shut. If something happens that you open the door and this ball shoots out, don't worry about it. It's none of your, nothing you've done. Just let us know and we will come and replace it. Uh, that sometimes they get a little stiff and they'll stick and you'll have to pull on the door some. Let us know, we'll either come and adjust it or get it replaced for you so the doors will open up easy. We open up both doors. We got just your basic washer and dryer. <laughs> dryer is just basic. Just make sure you keep your lint filter clean. <laughs> Wash machine is high efficiency, so you can use high efficiency powders on it. Uh, it does have a sensing mode. So when you go to first put your clothes in and start it, it does a sense mode on it so it don't uh, get off balance and make a lot of racket. Uh, usually takes about three minutes for it to sense. If you come out here in about five minutes and you notice it ain't started, just lift the top up, rearrange your clothes, close it. Everything should start off and work fine. Uh, everything else, everything's just basically normal. These right here are your water shutoffs. If you notice something's leaking, you just reach in there and turn the water shutoffs off. And everything else should be good to go. Okay. This is your panel box. Open it up. Everything is clearly marked. If you need to know anything, uh, the only ones you should have any problems with are these three down here. They go to the bedrooms. They are arc fault breakers. So sometimes you plug in a cell phone charger that's going bad, an older fan or an older vacuum cleaner. It causes a little arc. It'll cause these to trip. So if you notice that you don't have power in your bedroom, you come in, just cut it off, flip it back on. It should, everything should come back on. If you have any other problems with it, let us know. And we will come up and try to help you troubleshoot and find out what keeps tripping it. But other than that, everything else is clearly marked. If you need to cut anything off or you notice that you don't have any power on anything, you can always come and check your breaker box before you call us. Are we into the kitchen? <laughs> this is your refrigerator. It's a basic refrigerator. Uh, you have an ice maker. If you flip your arm up, the ice maker won't work. Flip your arm down, get it to make ice. These are your temp controls just for your freezer. Uh, this just keeps the fan going in the freezer to try to keep more cold air coming up to the freezer. Uh, we ask that when you put stuff in the freezer, you do not go behind these bars and block the walls because these are your vents right here for circulation. If you block those off, it will cause everything to freeze up and you'll start getting frost and ice and stuff inside your freezer. So we just ask that you keep everything off the back wall so everything will breathe and work properly. Come down to your refrigerator part. This is the main temperature control for the whole refrigerator. So if you notice that your refrigerator and your freezer is not cooling, you wanna turn this one up until your preferred setting, and then you can adjust your freezer as you need it. Uh, if the light bulb goes out in here, just give us a call. We will replace it for you. We don't expect y'all to go try to find light bulbs for your refrigerator. So if anything happens, we keep everything in stock. Just let us know and we'll come and get it taken care of for you. 
in the kitchen and in the bathrooms, you have GFI receptacles. If you ever come up to them and it has a red light, that means it has tripped. You can just push a reset button. Everything should come back on and work fine. Uh, like I said, they're in the bathrooms and in the kitchen. So usually if you find a receptacle that you don't have power in your kitchen, you can come and check these and see if one of those is red. And if it is, all you should have to do is push it and reset it and everything should start working properly. Over to the stove. This is just your basic range and oven. Uh, there's no oven broiler or oven broiler pan. This is a storage drawer for uh, cookie sheets and stuff. <sighs> Inside there is a light. If the light goes out, let us know. We will take care of that. That is appliance light. <laughs> we keep those in stock. Do not put aluminum foil in the bottom or on your racks because it is a fire hazard and it will have to be removed. Same thing with your burner pans. Please do not put full on your burner pans. We keep these in stock. If they get too bad and you want them replaced, let us know. We will bring you a set of new ones and put them in. Just please don't put aluminum foil on them because it is a fire hazard. Uh, as far as the oven, it's not a self-cleaning oven. So it's old fashioned elbow grease and oven off to get it clean. Uh, you do have an oven light that you can flip on that you can have where you don't have to have the door open. Uh, everything else should be self-explanatory for the oven and stove. Up above your stove, you have your microwave vent combo. <laughs> now it does have a vent that you can push. It will pull up everything, but it does come back out the top. It does not exit the building. <laughs> Hit the wrong button. Cancel. Okay. You also have a night light. Two settings. If any of these lights go out, let us know. We will get these replaced for you. <laughs> as far as the inside, <laughs> you may have a metal rack on the inside. Uh, if you do, they're made for it. As long as they stay on these little plastic feet. Uh, if you don't, if yours has a rack and you don't want to use it, you can just take it, place it up top, and we will put it back in when you leave. Uh, other than that, the Microwave is pretty much self-explanatory. On to the dishwasher. This is your basic dishwasher. Biggest thing about these is you have a filter down here that you can pull out and clean. It explains all that on top of the door. <laughs> the biggest thing about the dishwashers is this is the last thing on the line for the hot water. So when you want to wash dishes in the dishwasher, we just ask that you turn the hot water on, let it run, make sure you get hot water, and then start your dishwasher. Because if not, it'll be washing with cold water because it don't have enough leeway for the hot water to make it from the water heater to the sink. <laughs> uh, other than that, everything else is self-explanatory as far as this. Like I said, if you have any problems with this, you can let us know. We will come get you taken care of. And if you don't want, if you're not comfortable with cleaning the filter, please let us know because we like to have it done at least every three months. That way everything drains and keeps working properly. Okay, and on to the sink. Like I said before with the dishwasher, it takes an awful long time to get hot water to your sink. So just turn your hot water on and just kind of wait for a few minutes and it will finally get here. Uh, you have a garbage disposal. <laughs> We ask that you do not put any dried beans, fruit peelings, any kind of hard food or anything like that. It's for soft cooked food that, you know, you don't want to put in your trash can before you put your plates in the dishwasher. <laughs> if you have any problems with that, if you go to turn it on and it hums, we keep rinses down here in the bottom that you can put on the very bottom right here and it will unstick itself and then you can clean it out if not you just give us a call and we'll come get it taken care of for you this white control on the wall is your fireplace control it is thermostatically controlled if you turn it on you walk over here and this is your fireplace 
It is an electric fireplace, so if the electricity goes out, then this goes out, unfortunately. <laughs> you have a main power switch down here that you can cut off. We usually leave that on and control everything off the wall so y'all don't have to bend over and work the switch every time you want uh, gas logs. Uh, we do have a fan. If you put it on number one on the back switch, it circulates air. It has a HEPA filter down here that helps catch allergens and all that. And the middle is off with just a flame. If you go to the number two, then it actually will put out heat. Uh, not very much heat, but it does put out heat. Uh, <laughs> the only thing we say is, like I said, power goes out, this runs off electricity, so you cannot use this as backup heat. This is just kind of supplemental heat, you know, just in case you want to look good in front of the fireplace. <laughs> Other than that, you can close your gates, your screens like that. And that blocks up all your buttons and everything. And like I said, we usually use the control on the wall. That way you don't have to bend over and mess with any of these. Okay. In the corner of the solarium, you have this blank off box right here. If you take it off the wall, this is the main water shut off just for your apartment only. If you notice there's water leaking somewhere and you cannot get to the valves by the sink or the toilet or anything like that, you can just push, turn that down and that shuts the water off just to your apartment until we can get in and figure out where all the leak is going. And we'll turn her back on and this just snaps right back in place stays there for emergencies. This is the HVAC closet. It stays locked per fire code. Uh, we will come in every three months and change your filters and check everything out. Uh, like I said, it just your furnace and your water heater is in here. Like I said, we keep this locked for fire code purposes. And plus we you know, don't want to use it as storage. So when we got to come work on something, we got to pull 100 things out to try to work on it. So we just keep it locked with no access. Okay, this is the return for your HVAC system. This is the only return in the house. So we ask that if you stack anything in here, like any kind of uh, cabinets or anything, that you leave it off the wall a couple inches so this can breathe. And also leave it off the wall a couple inches so we can get into this door to change the filter and do any service to the HVAC that we need. This is the HVAC thermostat. It's pretty basic thermostat. Uh, we do have, you can run schedule, you can set a schedule. You have fan auto, fan on, and these are heat pump systems. So you have cool heat and you have an emergency heat and an auto, which auto will change it from, if it's set on 68 degrees for heat, and 75 for cool, when it gets below 68, it will cut the heat on. If it gets above 75, it'll cut the cool on. Or you can just run it regular like that. Everything else should be good to go. Uh, they will provide, if you wanna run, run a program for it and schedule a program in your move in pack, they will have the paper in there that shows you how to program this. If something happens, you can't get it, let us know. We'll come and get it programmed for you. Uh, most people just leave it on hold and use it, turn it up and down as they feel need. We have a battery in here too. Uh, if it comes up and says low battery, we don't have to have batteries in there. So just let us know. We will take the batteries out and discard them. Uh, most part, we should have all of them out. But sometimes uh, different residents come in and they change the batteries in and we don't know it so uh but if it says low battery just let us know we will get those taken care of and as far as emergency heat that is for emergencies only you do not want to run that more than 24 hours because it will raise your electric bill up significantly these switches on some of these rooms they work off receptacles light switches and receptacles no, if you see a receptacle and the ground lug is on top, that works off a switch somewhere. Ground lug on the bottom, like this receptacle over here, 
means it's just a regular receptacle. It stays hot. If you see one with the inverted uh, ground lug, the top stays hot all the time. The bottom receptacle works off a light switch, so you can turn it on and off by a light switch. Okay, over top of your fireplace is your TV wall. This wall has solid plywood behind it, so you do not need to look for a stud if you go to hang your uh, TV mount. All you need to do is sit your mount up, get it where you want, just drill your holes and put your lag bolts in. <laughs> this right here, this is a chase, so you can hide your cable wire from your TV, and it comes around to the bottom of the dry bar. And that's so you can hide all your wires, and then you got this little access right here that if you wanna sit your modem or your TV box up here, you can run your wire from up out here, and that keeps everything hidden. Now we're into your bathroom. Bathroom's pretty self-explanatory. Two biggest things is, of course, you got water shutoffs under here that if you need to shut the water off if there's a leak or anything. Uh, over here, this is the biggest part of the orientation in the bathrooms are this. This right here is your water shutoff. If you notice that your commode is leaking or it's running water and won't stop, you can take this knob, you pull it straight out, and your water is off. You can take the knob, push it back in, and your water to your toilet is back on. <laughs> Coming around, this is the closet in the bathroom. It has a fluorescent light. If this goes out, let us know. We will take care of it. Any screw-in light bulbs is y'all's responsibility. You can use any screw-in bulb you want in Destined LED, whatever you prefer. But as far as any appliance lights or any fluorescent light bulbs, we will take care of. We don't expect you to go out and try to find, you know, certain two fluorescent lights to try to get everything to work. In the master bedroom closet, you have a media cabinet. This media cabinet is for Lumos and the cable company. This, when they come and hook up your cable, they might have to have access in here to get all your cables and stuff hooked up because every room has a cable, internet, and phone jack. Okay, as far as the bathtub, that's really self-explanatory. Uh, the only thing about this that we say is you are allowed to change the shower head if you do not want this kind. Uh, just take this one, if you put a new one up, put it under the sink, so that way when you move out, we can put the uh, original one back up. If you do not want to put the shower head up, just let us know. You go out and get the shower head and we will come in and install it for you so you don't have to worry about messing anything up unless you feel comfortable enough to change it yourself. These are your apartment smoke alarms. These are just smoke alarms. If you burn something on the stove, it sets these off. It only affects your apartment. It does not affect anybody else. Uh, if you hear it chirping every few minutes, that means the battery is going dead. Uh, you can call us. We will drop your ladder off or we will come and change the batteries for you. But you are to provide the batteries. Uh, the only thing we need to do is just make sure they work annually. As long as they work, y'all are responsible for the batteries. Like I said, not everybody has a ladder or can get up there and get them changed. But if you want them changed, just let us know. We will be glad to come in and take care of that for you. And this right here is the whole building fire alarm. This is attached to the sprinkler heads. If a sprinkler head goes off in any other apartment or this apartment, this goes off in every apartment. If this one goes off, just please get out the apartment, go to the front of the building and wait till the fire marshal or one of us tells you it's safe to go okay. back in. One last thing is we have sprinkler heads. They put out about 2,000 gallons of water a minute. Uh, we ask that you do not hang clothes hangers or anything off of those. Uh, if you go to dust them, use a feather duster and dust them real light. Uh, they won't go off unless they 
are hit really hard or there is a fire and it gets hot enough to open it up to let the water out to put the fire out. Uh, but like I said, all we say is please do not hang any clothes hangers with clothes or anything like that off of those because if they bust, it puts out about 2,000 gallons of water a minute and that will destroy an apartment really quick.